Good evening and welcome to 13 News at 5. I'm Derek Bain. And I'm Brittany Hardaway. We begin tonight in Rockford, where 300 people officially becoming U.S. citizens earlier this morning. A naturalization ceremony took place at the Coronado Theater, where the new citizens and their families were invited to make it official and celebrate the new start. That event also featured speeches from local leaders, including Congressman Eric Sorensen. 13 WREX's Emily McMahon attended that ceremony today and joins us now with more. Emily. That naturalization ceremony drew a very large crowd to the Coronado Theater today as both the new citizens and their families celebrated that accomplishment. And for many of these people today was definitely a day several years in the making. These new citizens are also now eligible to vote in the upcoming election, something the ceremony's leaders hope they will take advantage of and something those new citizens plan to do. Happy! <laughs> I am happy to be an American citizen today. I'm very, very happy. Today was a very good day for 300 people at the Coronado Theater as they officially became U.S. citizens. As they continue to celebrate, new doors are now open as these people are now eligible to vote, something the magistrate judge for the ceremony hopes they will take advantage of. They're now new, new U.S. citizens. They get all these rights guaranteed to them by our Constitution, and obviously voting is one way in which they can grasp those rights and and do what the Constitution now allows for them, and it's, it's a, big, a big year for our country. And that is exactly what many of these new citizens plan to do, already getting a head start as they visited the voter registration table set up at the ceremony. It's one of the rights that we were, we were responsible to exercise, right? New citizen Stephen Chen says exercising his right to vote was a main factor in getting his citizenship, as he now eagerly awaits November 5th. I believe in, you know, representation of all people and you know it's it's about working together as a community so everybody's represented I, I believe it fundamentally and it just seemed like I needed to take the step in order to really you know put my actions behind my feelings. Congressman Eric Sorensen spoke at the naturalization ceremony and is also running for office in November. With emotions running high for the congressman at that ceremony, he only hopes these new citizens will visit the polls in just two months. I was struck right as you entered the Coronado today. Um, there is a sign up to vote. Um, and so my encouragement to these new citizens is vote. Your voice matters. We need your voice to be heard. With Election Day now just 61 days away, now is the time to begin preparing how you plan to cast your ballot. For those north of the state line, there are two ways you can prepare for Election Day. The first is by going to your local city hall and registering there. The other way is by going to the link on your screen and submitting your information online. However, you will also need proof of residence in order to register. And Illinois residents can also register to vote online by going to the link on your screen. But you will need two forms of identification to do so, such as a driver's license, personal check, or mail sent to your address. Brittany and Derek, back to you. All right, a lot of important information there, Emily. Thank you.